and uh, we're back with another episode i mean this is a show that a like, lot of people love to watch and so we'll try to give you the best of it anyway this show is sponsored by pleno business pleno business is an app that allows business owners to you know sign up onto it and get a lot of you know patrons both here and outside and so if you own a school a restaurant uh, you own a barbering shop you know as basic as a chop bar or anything that you own just sign up to pleno business get on google app or play store uh, and download the app install it sign up to it and enjoy the goodies that comes with Pleno Business. The name Arnold Man Salavani, you can always call me. Bro, you see me? Bro, you see me? I have, I have my good friend. I mean, <laughs> anytime she touches base in Ghana, I'm one of the first people she'll call. Hey, Ghana, I'm around. It was good. Ella Mensa is an actress. She's a Ghanaian actress, but she's left us, you know, a doggy. I see, <laughs> industry, you know, yeah, 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 serious into a doggy. And she's back, and uh, she's been in the news lately for certain things she said. One of the most controversial things she said and that's what i'll start with is that she had sex on the plane <laughs> wait you guys saw that yes that you had but sex it was, it was something in nollywood like yes, nigeria yes I didn't in know nigeria Ghana and, to pick it up. and i i read commentary about it you know folks were like this is too much information i mean it's quite unnecessary if you have sex on the plane keep it to yourself why bother us with your experience on the plane i mean what do you think about that <laughs> Ghanaians are hypocrites like who doesn't have sex now even the 14 15 years old are having sex so mm. what's the it's, sex it's, is it's the place is the place you had it that's what's making them talk okay. sex on the plane which Let's airline see. was it this this is where i'm not going to disclose <laughs> the airline but this is what people need to read they just picked up what they saw mm. without reading the story they asked me mm. what's the craziest thing i've ever, ever done. done okay and it's one of the craziest things i've ever done which is yes me and my ex mm. were traveling somewhere and then we're in the plane. From where to where? We were leaving Ghana mm. to another country. Yeah. Yeah. And then we were in Africa? No, 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 no. Okay. Outside. Okay, we're leaving Ghana to Dubai. Okay. Yeah. And then we were just the two people in first class. Okay. And as you know, just the two of you in first class. From Ghana were, to Dubai. The rest were in business class and then economy. Okay. So it was like we were very comfortable. Just the two of us and you know, they said that in first class we have a bar. You can just go take whatever you want. It was really comfortable. The rooms, everything is special. First class you sleep, like everything is comfortable. It's just like we're a just room. As, and we're just drinking and mm. you know, you know. I don't smoke. Mm. I drink sometimes. Mm. So you know, a little bit of champagne here, red wine here, you know. And you got shit tipsy. And, and you got tipsy. I got tipsy. And I was you had sex. Dr drunk or whatever, and you know. When you were doing it, didn't it you like, feel like so somebody? It wasn't like could... we were just having like open real sex, like we were having sex in our bedroom. Did you remove? No. Did you remove all? No, your I didn't remove all my clothes or whatever. We just went to the bathroom, like okay. you know, just to like want to pee or something. And mm. then one thing led so to like another. We just had like a quickie. How many it's rounds? Though? Oh dear lord, I know it's a quickie. A quickie it's a quickie. Is a quickie. quickie is no just one. Rounds in the but if it's just you guys in the first class, and uh, did you think somebody could walk in? In the bathroom. In the no. bathroom. When nobody you enter could. The, the toilet, you just put that vacant sign. Like okay. you, when you lock it, automatically nobody can come. Nobody can come in. So you had the oh you had all the time to yourself so why just one when you really wanted to do it you don't have sex in the plane we were just under the influence and shit happened of, of alcohol it. and after that how did you feel about it nothing i felt great given the same chance and opportunity would you do it again oh no nah, it's something that like i said like it just happened you know you don't plan for such things you don't plan for it, it wasn't planned no but nothing was planned it just happened it was a spontaneous thing it just happened wow yeah. and when you were asked to mention the craziest thing you ever did and that came it. that came yeah because it, it stood out you know i remember it was like afterwards when we go back to our hotel and we were just laughing over it and i'm mm. like damn did we just do did that you just do that, that thing like it was just funny and you know now that's that's it with the craziest thing you ever did is there something you ever did that you regret nah i, I don't regret anything in my life because whatever i have ever done mm. i was meant to do it that is one and whatever two, you've ever done i was you were meant, meant to, to do, do it, it. And another thing is that, obviously, the decisions I made, mm. the options I had, that is what I had to choose. I don't know if it, it makes sense if you understand. But yeah, like, I understand. Like, like the, the options, options that were open up to you, that's what I. That's did. what so you had to choose. Whatever I've ever done in my life, good, bad, ugly, whatever, I don't regret anything because one, mm. some were lessons, mm -hmm. some were blessings. You know, you learn from it. You make mistakes, you learn from it. Why do I regret it? If I don't make the mistake, I won't learn from it. I won't grow. It's called growth. You grow. 
So yeah, I learned, I made few mistakes. I don't regret them. You don't regret anything you've ever done. I don't done. regret it. But one thing I know is that I wish I was 14 years old again. What would you, you have know? done differently? Because I have new ideas so I can ruin my life differently. You, you know? can ruin your life ruin differently. Ruin my life differently because now I have new ideas what I should have done when I was 14. And, and, and let's just say God makes you 14 again. What would you do differently? Um, straight to Yankee. I'm not coming back to Africa again. Why? Why I would have you? all my kids in the broad. America, to be precise, I'm not coming back to Africa. Come and get my mom, my siblings. Bye bye to Ghana. Bye bye to Africa. You guys will never see us again. Why? The system here. Because it's a serious thing you just yes, said. The was, system here is, you know, see, you need to be exposed. You need to visit different countries, the world. You need to go around the world to really know what you are really lacking behind. Mm. You know, when you are in a stagnant place, when mm. you're in one place, you think everything is great, you mm. think everything is perfect. Trust me, till you move, mm. that's how you know that. Damn. So there's a lot happening outside that. There's a not lot. Know. See, so many things. There's a way mm. things are done. See, I have a degree, mm. you know. Mm. I have a degree here in mm. Ghana. But you know, in America, my degree is nothing. Like, it's, it's useless. zero. It's useless <clears throat> that I, I want to do a course. I have to do undergraduate at this age. Mm. I'm turning 30, um, uh, 6th of March. Mm. Sorry, 6th of June. 6th of June. 6th of June, turning I'm turning 30. 30. Yes. And I have to go and do undergraduate before. course for two years before I can do But that's the system. Proper, that in, if I was there, you'd have been long those gone. years I was mm. in school, mm. would have, I wouldn't have to do it again. Wow. I'm a mom now. I'm a businesswoman. Like I have, apart from my son, I have so many people I'm taking care of. I have so many things I'm doing. Mm. Now I have to go back to school and learn. That's crazy to you. Like, how am I going to even money things? Because I have a lot dealing with boyfriend, mm -hmm. you know, dealing with mom, dealing, dealing with, with brothers, kid. dealing with my kids, <laughs> dealing with the people, dealing with my, my project I'm doing, mm -hmm. like my businesses, and then at the end I'm going to school. It's not easy. So, Ella, uh, not too long ago, there was this guy on Snapchat, Fat uh, 53. There's something there, but you know, I can't mention it on, on, on camera. And this person put out a lot of revelations, including some female celebrities here who actually have HIV AIDS. And you had something to say about it. Yes, you know, I don't know what's going on in Ghana. I think because it's, I think because people, most people are jobless. Uh, that is where I'll put it. Like mm. most people have a lot of time <coughs> in their hands that they want to just do anything to be noticed or anything to trend, like mm. the word trending. Yeah. Excuse me, but most of these people are morons. You know, they are really more like to be okay. What is the big deal? You had an affair mm. or you slept with a celebrity, is that an achievement? Like, I don't see what is so big that you have to come out with a fake name to tarnish their image. And, and, and this, you are speaking to the guys, right? Yeah, I'm speaking <coughs> to the guys. Like, what do you get? Like, what do you get? What do you get for doing that? Okay, yes, you slept with her. Mm. So, what's the big deal? Like, why, why are you telling us we don't care? Like, Sex is sex. Like, nobody cares. Sex is not a big thing anymore. Like Maybe they were asked. You know, you slept. You had sex in the plane. You were asked. You said it. Uh -huh. I slept as a celebrity. They weren't, they asked. weren't asked because I saw the snap. Mm. They just decided to come on snap and stuff. They, they call it and spilling beans. So like, they, spilling. They, they, they just want to. They are doubleless. They are, they are bored mm. or whatever nonsense that they do. They just came out and they want to stay. And then to my fellow celebrities, these females, like, I, they mentioned so many mm. names and some of them, a few of them, mm. not most of the few of them are, you know, I won't really call them close friends, but, but they are you are one or two, you know yeah, them. I know them, mm. you know, we are mm. on each other, what's up and all that. I remember I spoke to one or two people about them. Like, Who did you speak with? I, I'm not going to mention names. But they are your friends, I mean. Is, uh, okay, like somebody like Moesha. Let me yeah, use Moesha. You spoke, Moesha you is like a Moesha. friend. I was up here when I heard it. I'm like, first of all, like, sorry, because it's, it's really like mm. belittling for a woman, like for stuff like that. Then I told her, you know, I, I remember I wrote it on my Instagram, like, these females. Mm should please just go and do hiv tests mm. you know like yeah. that is who i am like i want to shut you up go and do hiv tests and then show you to the whole ghana okay I'm this negative. is my results I'm, I'm not hiv positive so now you put them to shame let them and then you sue them but then, then i remember moisha telling me that these people you don't even know who they are mm. it could be your own friend doing it with a fake id because they are baseless but what if baseless. they actually have hiv aids 
you see, nobody will know anybody. Like looking at you, mm. I can't say you have a child. Looking no, at me, you can't say no, I can't say. HIV. Exactly. So how can you say somebody has it? But maybe well, these people have, have punk information. Well, maybe, maybe you they told have them. It. Maybe they have it too. Mm. For them to say these females have it because they slept with them, mm. they, they also have it then. Yes. So they should come out and say, oh, maybe so 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 person. Uh, after sleeping with you, I have HIV. Meaning you gave it to me. Mm. Now let's deal with it. Let's you don't just you don't hide behind fake identity. And say things to, they just do you know what I believe? No, they just say these things to tarnish this, uh, this lady's um, images, images because they feel they are. Famous. Were you scared at a point that your filler could drop? What filler? I mean, any filler, me, Elementa. it could be any filler. You see, Elementa is not the typical Ghanaian celebrity or Ghanaian actress that all these guys or all these people just talk to them, do anything we have. You will be out of your mind. What filler? First of all, you won't know anything about me until I say. You if I don't say things about me to you, you will know. Mm. My close friend, personal friend, friends, mm. if I don't even tell them much. One or two things, yes, I yeah. will tell you. But you don't say I much. don't even go into details because I don't even trust my own shadow. Mm. Talk less of my friend. Yeah. Like friends that we can even fight tomorrow. Mm. Why would I want to trust you with information about my life? And, mm. friend, and another thing is, I don't let people know my source of joy. Okay. I won't let you know who or what makes me happy. Perhaps your boyfriend. I mean, that should like, be let, Let's say my, my boyfriend, my, my where I get my money from, mm. whatever. I don't tell people. You don't tell people. I don't tell people. The only person that knows, let's say 80%, not even 80, 70% of me, mm. that my whole, uh, somebody that can really open my life is my mom. Okay. And she won't say. Obviously. She won't reveal she anywhere because that's herself. her blood. So you were never scared at Fat Fifty Three. First of all, there's nothing there to even be said to talk about. Second, what, what is? Being Have you ever dated a Samoan? Oh wow! <laughs> no. No, you've never. No, I haven't. No. Because it's something that almost came out at a, at a point, you know, it was speculations. I mean, I mean, and when I get the opportunity to have folks like you, I love to clear the air and ask for you to either accept or deny. Ever dated a Samoan? No, never. Never. You've never no, had anything I've to do. Never dated him. I've, no. D did you also hear that rumor? No, I haven't. Mm. I see. From from your uh, conversation and the way you sound, you know, it looks to me you're very principled. And like you said, your life is programmed. There are certain things you will never do. And there are certain things if you decide to do, you do because you wanted to do it. Ever too timed? What did you say? Uh, have you ever dated two or three people at, at, at a goal? Like... <laughs> Ella, Ella. <laughs> Ella, Ella. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> You know, I, I go somewhere and I come and enter. You know, I haven't. I know that I haven't. You haven't? Yes, because the way you sounded, you sounded really, really principled. And so there are certain things you would never do or find extremely difficult to do. You see, I think women that date two men, to me, I don't know their reasons. Mm. I've heard one or two things because I have a lot of girlfriends. Some, you know, some women love, let's say some women love Arnold, mm. but let's say Arnold doesn't have enough money. Mm. So they sleep with, let's say, Fifi. Mm -hmm. So Fifi will or give them Eddie. money. Or Eddie. Mm -hmm. So Eddie will give them money and then, they will, and give it, then they will take care of Arnold or they use it to take care of themselves. Bless so God. that Arnold doesn't feel like, oh, I'm not money enough to take care of him. Mm. You know? To me, personal elements, to me, those women are useless. Because my point here wait, is that... Wait, wait. <laughs> women who date two or three guys at a time are useless. They are useless because this is this is where I could this is my reason and mm. it's my personal reason, my personal opinion. Mm. I'm entitled to it. Why would I allow somebody to squeeze me all in the name of love and then another body to squeeze me all in the name of money? No, okay. my man mm. should be able to have the money and have the love. You are so you're going to give me both mm. love and money. So you I am not about to date one for love and date one for money. That's me wasting my budget. No. Okay. No, no, no. Then it means you will only love rich men. Like, am I supposed to love poor men? Really? Arnold? Wow. But that's a really? very good clap Like, back. am I supposed to, like, look at me right now? Mm. Like, do I even... I can't even... But love, love goes beyond money. Poor guys do, are not even attracted to me. Because immediately they see me, I'm not in their league. Like, they, they are not even attracted. They, can't, they don't even look at me twice. Are you kidding me? Poor guys are not attracted guys to you. Guys who say do know they are poor. Like mm. you have to know your level. Like look at those fingers. They're not the same. Look, mm. You have to cut your coat according, according to your size. Sense. So you look at me and you know you are poor. Really? You want to, you can't even say poor guys can they can't say hello to me. 
poor guys can't say hello to God you. God forbid. Like, but if you love someone, should it be money? See, so yeah, those who come to me, before, how will you love somebody? Is your love, is, you. is your love for sale? See, so yeah, you're mixing two things. Mm. I, I, I could said, be. I could my be. My love is for sale. I, I could said, be. You said, what can't I love a, guy, a poor guy? And I yes. said, a poor guy in the first place will not even approach me for me to even think of loving him. That is the point. There are some no poor ones. guy has ever approached me. No, not in my since I was no, no, not no. since I became a teen. Up to now, no poor guy has ever approached me. Never. They are even. They, I won't say they are afraid of me. They respect me. But, they just see me and greet me and pass. But have you ever felt a thing for a poor guy? You know. First of all, I don't play at places where I meet poor guys. I haven't met any poor guy in my life. I have not have a thing. I have not even met them for me to have a thing for them. Hmm. That is the problem. Probably because I don't live around where there are poor people. I don't go to. You see, you play according to where you are, like hmm. the environment where I am. Where you are. Don't let me. Don't get me wrong. No, I'm not getting you wrong. I, I mean, you know, I'm open-minded enough. I, mean, I grew up in hmm. car price. Hmm. I was there before boomerang was built. Yeah. I'm a boomerang, like behind boomerang. That's why I grew up in. Price. Mm. Everybody knows me. Mm. From there, we moved to Alajo. Mm -hmm. So me, I'm from the hood. Mm. Yeah, I'm from the hood. Yeah. But even in the hood, you know, in like the hood, big girl in the hood. They are. They are you, you just have to know your level. Yeah. You know, I know my level. Mm. So there are kind of guys who approach me. No guys, no poor guys ever in my life approach me. Never, ever, never. It will, God forbid, it will never ever happen. But what if some? You know, we have guys who say or promise what they don't have or declare what they don't have. So you could actually meet someone you thought was rich, but it's actually... I don't think you are rich or I don't... See, before you approach me, you already know where you, who you're coming to, right? Mm. So if you're pretending to be on the same level with me, mm. that is on you, that's not on me. Because mm. what is the motive? You're coming there to uh, sleep with me, right? Mm. That is the motive. Like, that's what you want to achieve, to sleep with me. Before you even get to that part of sleeping, of with, sleeping you. with me, your true colors will come out. Because you don't see me and sleep with me. You know, we, you go through a process. What is the process? Oh, come on. I'm a girl. Like, I, that's a yeah. guy. Let's say you're asking me, oh, Ella, I like you, blah, blah, blah. For you to even tell me you like me, you, you've seen me, you know me, you mm. know this girl and her category. Mm. I don't mm. have to tell you. Mm. So, so you have you, to be ready. So, so, so if you say you like me, okay, okay, fine. Now we have to go on a date, right? Mm. So I will choose where I want to go. And mm. you're the one paying. Okay. <laughs> and that's so how you reveal the seemingly poor guy. Not, not even just that. After that, you know, mm. there are one or two things. I'll give you bills. I'll give you things I want you to do for me. So, you know, I'll, I'll let you into my world. You know my world. How much I spend in a month. I, I'm paying the rent in Nigeria. As I'm talking to you, I'm paying the rent in Nigeria. I've had that house for more than six years. How much is the it? The whole of last year, I was in Nigeria twice. Mm. One for two weeks, one for a week. Mm. This year, I've been to Nigeria once. I came back from America six weeks ago. Mm. I'm going back again. Mm. I was I, I went to Nigeria for ten days. Mm -hmm. My rent, my car is still there. Ghana, I've moved to my own house. My car in Ghana is even a mechanic. Yeah. I haven't even had time to fix it, so I'm using Uber. Mm. So once you come into my life and how businesses I'm doing, my my child in a good school. I have kids that I'm taking care of. And I have my own mother, I have my siblings, I have one or two people that I you support. So, so once you come into my life... But is he supposed to be doing all that? He's just oh, a boyfriend. You're not coming to do that for me, because with or without you, I have my own money. I can take care of him. But what I'm trying to say is that, as a guy, once you come, I let you into my world. Hmm. You know what I'm doing. So you know where you have come. <laughs> so you know where you've come. So meaning that you are not coming to do it, because with or without you, I will do it. I'm doing it. God has been good to me. I'll continue doing it. But then, as a partner... You are going to support me, mm. you know. It's just going to be like icing on the cake. Okay. But you can't come with a dry cake. That's you what I'm You can't come to... with a dry cake. You no. need to have some icing on the cake yeah, it's not before you work. come to Ella. They're around poor guys, and so no, no, talk to them. So if you're a poor guy out there, don't even approach it. That's they what don't. you mean. No poor guys ever approach me. They Trust shouldn't. Me. They know their level. I know my level. Wow. No. Interesting. And yeah. how many rich men have you been with? It's not rich men. How many guys on my level? What how many rich? guys on your level? I'm not level? even rich. Like, I'm trying to. I'm finding my feet. So, guys on my level. What is rich? Like, there's so many. Dangote is still looking for money. The richest man in Africa is still looking for money. Give me a chance. Will you date Dangote? Why won't I date him? Like, hello, I know. Like, He's a married man. Dangote is not married. He's not married? No, he's not. He's his not wife married. Is, is it dead or late or whatever? Yes, he's not. He's a bachelor, actually. He's a billionaire bachelor. Mm. And me, I'm attracted to older men, so... You're attracted so, to older men? Yes, yeah, you, you, you told me this thing off, off records. I mean, yeah. uh, when our camera was off, our personal conversation. Yeah. You date older men. If I say older men, I'm not talking about 70s or whatever. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm turning 30. Mm. I don't like dating 30 years old. I don't like my age mates. Mm. I like... 
forties, fifties, sixties. Sixties. Ever than sixty five. No, I haven't no no. Sixty is, is the last any any peculiar reason for the old men? Um I think you know, women like they say, which is true because I'm a mom now, so mm. I know women um we think ahead of our time. Women our mind women are always thinking very, very far. Mm. That's what sometimes they say we overreact, we over exaggerate. Mm. So our look- mind always go fast. So I think like I'm in my I'm turning thirty the ideas and the things I want to achieve, my empire I want to be, the things I want to do as high. So I need a man who is mentally matured mm. to meet me up. A guy in my age, mm. mentally I'm more mature than him. Okay. He's trying to find his feet. I am not, I'm trying to find my you, feet. So you're trying to find your feet, I'm trying to find my feet. Who will help you? How are you going to cope? I need somebody that is mature there that will tell me, you know, I always learn from people that mm. I, I, I date. Mm. Who I get contact with, I learn from them a lot. So I need somebody who is mature enough to, you know, when I'm doing things, say, no, Ella, this is wrong. This is how you're supposed to do it. Somebody who is ahead of me that who, I can who, learn from. Who teach you. Who teach that you me, learn or from. show me one or two things. I don't want somebody who's like me. Like, what I'm thinking is what you're thinking. How are we going to move forward? But at 30, you are sexually active. At 60, as a man, will he be able to satisfy you? Sex is not, you see, that is, you see, there's so many ways to have sex. It's not Such just, as? It's not just, pen, there's oral sex. It's not just penetration. You know, sex has people just, it's overrated. But the, the sex, the sex itself is when penetration happens. Haven't you seen uh, like the penetration 60 itself. year old men who can have sex for hours than uh, this 30, 35? Most of this 30, Have you experienced one? You know, that's another thing that is personal that I'm not going to say. That's yes fine no. with me. But you see, I can tell you for a fact, mm. Mm, for mm. a fact, mm-hmm. and you can quote me anywhere, that they are most 60 years old who have good sex than most of these young guys in their 30s most of these guys in their 30s and because they are running and uh, they are running uh, under anything and sketch and all that mm. in their mid 30s and getting to 40 they already but it's these same people who become 60 so when they become 60 where do they get the power from so when yes. they've already sported you see, in this their our 30s. generation this yeah. our generation is different from those generation those 60 generation those who were born in their 50s mm. and 60s now nah, they were not like that they are strong they are not they are really strong they are not they were not abusing themselves like now so even the old men that you like, aside from they teaching you, they also certify you sexually. You're okay with the age and what they can do in terms of performance. So I'm not looking for who will kill me in bed. You understand? I'm not. It's not a marathon. But you need good sex. What is the definition of good sex? Your definition might be different from mine. I'm not. I'm not there for anybody to come and overuse my body. Mm. You know, I have so many years to go. <laughs> you understand? You want the body to weaken. Exactly. So I'm. I'm good with the old man. Who cannot even if you cannot even have sex with me in a month, I'm happy. Okay. I'm okay. I don't You're want somebody okay. who have sex with me every day. So you can stay a month without sex. I stay a year without sex, actually. Wow, it's a difficult thing, isn't it? Who said so? When you're busy doing things, eh? When you're busy running things, looking for money, doing things here and there, sex will be the last thing on your mind. Are you sure? As a woman. Why do people think why women are hormones and what about men are people who really love sex? Women don't really really. Uh, we, women have sex for two reasons actually have sex for two reasons what and what babies and what Arnold. <laughs> maybe if you give me the two we're done Arnold. if you give me the two we're done I, I i'll wrap up it's a promise women have sex for two reasons what and what <laughs> what informs your fashion sense though actually is my mood you know mm. Like this morning when I woke up, I'm like, okay, um, I know I have an interview with mm. you. I have another thing to do. I'm like, okay, um, I feel like being glamorous, mm. you know. So that was it. The, the, the Nigerian feeling. The glam, yeah. <laughs> glam, yeah. You know? And sometimes I want to be funky. My, my dressing is my mood. It's how I feel when I wake up in the morning and after praying. If I if I feel like today I'm gonna do calm. Ella, I just go with my natural hair, braid it all back, mm. wear jalapi or whatever, just and then you just whatever. be yourself. Yeah. At that time, you expose certain parts of your body. And you see, that is why I have a. Or is there a mood? Is there a mood that makes you dress that way? See, her, this is how it is. Uh, we, we are females, like women. Women are. How should I describe it? As women, apart from being superhuman, mm. you know, women are naturally sexy pretty beautiful women beautifies everywhere they go mm. so if you have a good body mm. I wear clothes that affect my body if I feel like I want to show my arms my 
arms are all covered, right? Mm. If I yeah. feel like I want to wear spaghetti and show my arms, I should feel like doing it. I don't think there should be a problem for anybody You're exposing your body like yes, my body. But when you become role body. models, um, don't you think sometimes you need to um, dress in a way that people who look up to you why would, would you look you? up to me you see that is where i have a problem with okay. oh people i get people are you a role model I, I don't even understand that word role model my definition of role model is somebody you look up to you want to be like mm. i don't want to be like anybody that is a, i don't even, i don't want to be like anybody i want to surpass anybody mm. so god should help me why do you want to be like me why don't you want to be somebody bigger and better than elements why do you want to be like me no i don't want to be i don't have anybody my mom was somebody that um i cherish i look up to in a certain way mm. i don't want to be like my mother I so want to, are you I want a role model me. are you a role model yes for or who? no yes or no I, am i a role model for who i mean uh, are you in a position of being a role model what's your definition of a role model Am I in a position where somebody should look up to me? Mm. Is that what you mean? Yeah. My, that's what I'm saying. Why do you want to look up to me? Do okay. your own thing. Let something I do influence you in a good way. Mm. Don't strive to be like Ella Mesa. You don't know what I go through. Mm. You don't know. You see, we don't come on social media. We don't come and, or in front of this camera to tell people when we cry. Mm. You tell people when we get disappointed. You tell people when things don't go our way. You might see. Like, I'm all glammed up right now. I'm, go I'm in America. Oh, Ella is going to America. Ella is in Dubai. Like, I'm going to America. From America, I'm going to Dubai. From Dubai, uh, I'm going to Dubai. From Dubai to America. America. From America, I have another destination. I have things I'm doing. People just see that part. They don't see the preparation. They don't okay. see what went to. No celebrity comes on air to tell you the disappointment. What they actually go through. Be the first or one of the few who talk about that, the disappointment. That is the problem. You see nobody wants to do that and i don't want to do that the why don't you I don't want, want to do that the reason why i don't want to do that is that i have my own source of let me say i have things i do to get the things that i i, I have or mm. the thing that i want mm. is my personal thing i don't want you knowing you see i don't want you to know my personal business because when everybody gets to know your personal business is a problem like why when, is it a problem ah please you're citing whereby you don't even have to know somebody for them to be envious of you that's why nowadays people are not even showing their significant others look at how many marriages and relationship crashing because the moment you're happy you want to share with the world oh this is my husband this is my boyfriend somebody somewhere will snatch him it's just angry with you that you are happy hmm. they will just do whatever to mess you up that's some people some people are naturally bitter hmm. like they're naturally envious and devious mm. so why would i want to show you my source of um joy so you come and distract it or do something i'm not scared of you but i don't have the time to deal with you because my time i have it for see my 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 life is programmed i have things i'm doing at every single day every single day i have something like from here i have another thing i'm doing from that it's a I have programmed so many life things. my life is always programmed so to leave some things to focus on another woman trying to distract my boyfriend i won't have that time and if that person is really my peace, I don't want you to distract me. So I won't even let you know. So would you deny your boyfriend if asked on camera? My boyfriend already understands. I told him. Me so whenever you say no, he's not my boyfriend. He understands. He understands. If I if if they ask me, oh, is this person your boyfriend? And he's really my boyfriend. And I said no. He understands. He understands. Yes, I'm not about to tell the world who. Who I'm sleeping with or who makes me happy. Mm. That is nobody's business. It's so, my business. But why why won't you admit? I mean, um, if he's truly your joy, why won't you admit? Is he your boyfriend? Yes. Let's move on. No. That is like I said, it's a personal thing nobody needs to know. Nobody That's needs what... to know. So you'd rather keep it to yourself. Yes. Wow. Ella Mensa. Are you, you know, thinking of featuring in any local movie now that you're okay? You're not spending much time. No, I'm leaving. I'll just have to. But are some producers con uh, contacting you? Oh, yes, me? yes, yes. I am. Um, I had one producer. I want to film actually they're starting on Friday. Mm. And I said, I won't even be around to do it. I was supposed to even shoot a movie in Nigeria on, on Monday, just mm. yesterday. Mm. Yeah, but, you know, I'm traveling. So and what it, I'm it won't happen. Do, no, I had to turn on one or two wow. jobs there. All right, so moving on real quick. Again, not too long ago, there were some videos, and there was this lady who actually came to talk about ladies who travel to Dubai um, to exploit themselves. Well, I, I would say exploit themselves because they know 
before they even get there and then they get treated badly you know you have all these uh, folks some of them actually peeing on them according to one story we read i mean you have traveled around a lot and as a woman and the way you look have you ever had people at a point in time mistake you for any of these ladies first of all god forbid why would you even look at me and mistake mm. me for all those um, um how how should i even put them um potato, desperate potato, 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 yes yeah. uh, desperate desperate ladies no mm. you see i think we have a problem in africa or mm. no, no don't let me just say africa or ghana mm. society yeah. you see people are trying to be who they are not mm. we are in a society whereby because of social media people come they go and borrow rent cars mm. for some months and come and lie show off that they have just for people to like them mm. you see i'm that kind of female that i don't care if you like me or not mm. whether you like me you don't like me it doesn't feed me it doesn't feed my family it doesn't bring nothing to me i don't care like i care less about people's opinion one two dubai is like a third home for me okay i've lived in dubai i've been in dubai like thousand times every i'm even going to dubai tomorrow yeah. actually yeah you know like i'm 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 always in Dubai. You see, the point is that as what you're looking for is what you get. Of course, we are in a society whereby social media have exposed everybody. So men sees women, women sees men, and there's opportunity everywhere, good and bad and ugly. So if somebody approaches you and tells you that, oh, I want to introduce you to somebody, one big um, um, Arab man in Dubai, they're going to give you $40,000. You have to think about it, that $40,000 is a big money in Africa. Even in America, it's a huge money. It's a huge money. So what kind of work will I do? Are you going to do to get that kind of money? Some doctors, those who have some lawyers, barristers with PhDs, don't make even $40,000 a year. You understand? So if you're going to, for a one week or a weekend get away and you're going to get forty thousand dollars that is the first signal for you to know that whatever it is that you're going to do it's going to be extreme that is one whatever so you, it is you're going, whatever to, do, you're going to do it's going to be extreme forty thousand is not, do you know how much forty thousand dollars is in ghana right yes, now almost two hundred thousand cities dollar is hundred dollar is five hundred fifty ghana mm. right now mm. so ten thousand dollar is what fifty thousand ghana so forty thousand dollar yes. is like a lot of money yeah. what are you going to do for for like a weekend thing mm. really sex will give you that much no it doesn't pay that much go and ask those girls on the streets hustling doing prostitution how much do they get but maybe this is high time connection she had this not that's why they are getting the high time treatment by people educate me by people peeing and shitting and you know the poor on them i saw the video yeah it was so demeaning like i saw it and i'm like dear lord like what will make somebody sell their soul this day taking your destiny why would you let somebody pull pull and then you use your mouth to take the pool all in the name of forty thousand dollars so that when you come you know when you come back mm. how do you look at yourself so they come back then they buy the cars they rent the apartment and then they show off on social media they're big girls if some of us don't tell people what we have let us know we have a lot we are just not sure because you see social media is not going to add mm. anything to the things i have mm. whatever i'm doing to get it mm. Social media is not going to give me the money. People watching is not going to give me the money. So to it's, do it. it's not necessary. It's not it necessary. Out there. But how do you make your money? I work. I have businesses. I'm in school, actually. That's what people don't know. I'm in school. I work. I, but my acting is not actually paying quarter of my bills. Acting is even zero right now. So why don't acting you stop is, acting then? I can't stop acting because I, acting is not just a work for me. It's a passion. I okay. love acting. Acting is something that I've loved since I was young. I love acting. Okay. So it's not something that you just stop. You don't stop something that you love. It's like a passion. But it's not bringing money. It's not. Trust me. It's not bringing no money at all. Like even when you're doing it in America? Oh, America. And Nollywood? Yeah, Nollywood pay and um, not too much right now because they're having recession in Nollywood. but before Nollywood was paying me like Nollywood made me almost finish my house i was i'm building like mm. you know now i've moved to my own house you you're know? done yeah, you've moved into your own house it's not 100 percent done but it's done in a way that is comfortable for me you are inside. It. inside it's your house it's my house period so, yes okay, <laughs> you, you know, i'm still doing one or two things yeah. that i'm supposed to do to finish so yeah you know so Nollywood was great now the system i think that you know is a new government mm. there is a recession things are ghana industry has been dead forever it's just few people ghana's trying, industry is dead oh, forever please. it's been dead the very industry. dusted it's just few people trying to just 
push it and make it work like you know they use their own money to produce most of my colleagues mm. here the senior colleagues and then those in my level and those coming up whatever like and people are just trying to just they're just trying to keep it alive but we all know like how many producers are producing in ghana apart from individuals like my colleagues mm. Take the colleagues out of it. How many producers are producing in Ghana that they will call artists and pay for you to come and film? But you have traveled around. Why don't you come and invest in the industry? Exactly my point. It has to be an artist mm. to come and so you travel around, you work, get your money, then you use your personal money to come and produce. That's risky. Okay. We need this government. You see, when there's police, when it's time for election and all that, they, they, they mobilize all these artists, musicians, actors, comedians, everybody, just to, you know, talk to the youth and all that. But when they get into position, they forget that we need government to put money in the movie industry. We need government to give funds to the Ghana Actors Guild. They distribute it to few of the producers. Let them produce. Let, well, let us start working. Let government them, intervention. Yeah, we need a government intervention. Like, we need these people to just give money to the Ghana Actors Board. Mm. Let them call people. They used to do it in Nigeria. I don't know about this this year or mm. last year, whatever happened. But good luck, Jonathan Regime. I remember Ebinabo, their former um, uh, Nigerian uh, Actors Guild president. Mm. They gave her some of money. She chose about, what, 20 people, gave them big, big money to produce. So there was movie shooting every day. In Nigeria, you can, you can shoot like six, seven movies a month if you want to. Mm. You just be in different locations. Mm. Ghana has never been like that. Before, if it wasn't Salam, it was AA. Then it was Frank Raja Association. Then Rita Kote. Haki Films. Then, uh, then where are they now? Wow. And how about America? Yeah, America. You see, you no know, Hollywood is a different book game. Mm. We are not even quarter close to them. Hollywood, the way they film, the way they, they kind of recommend they use, they don't shoot a movie in two weeks, in three weeks, no. But I'm talking about your experience. I mean, the, f the uh, projects you've been on outside. Oh, the movies I've <coughs> shot. Yeah, I've shot about, uh, so far, four movies in America. Were you well paid? I was. Like, m some of them were great. A few, I think the last two movies weren't much, mm. weren't too much. But still, those monies, if you bring it to Ghana, it's still a big money anyway. So, yeah, the first two movies was a big money. I really, like, made a lot of profit, which I enjoyed. The, the last two movies before coming back, wasn't that much but it's okay you know the africans there are trying to do african movies there but in a more reformed mm. way mm. like because they are in america so they have an idea about the system and how america do their thing so that's mm. what they are trying so we are doing like an advanced mm. jobs but it's still african producers and african wow. directors and all that i haven't worked with any hollywood director yet but that is the next goal. that's the next goal to work with a hollywood director i mean you talk about your own businesses what's the latest uh, line of business you're into um yeah i have a hairline okay. called hair by elements oh i see i'm even wearing one i have oh a this this is your own work. product no, are, yes my own product so okay a hair by elements that's what i'm working on actually um it's going to be an online mm. business so i'm going to just start opening it up very soon and is it already open it's already things are already ready I'm but just you haven't launched to, it yet i haven't launched it yet because the website is not ready i want mm. people to be able to just buy it online even without calling me you just go on the website click choose whatever you want to choose and then you just pay with your card and then it's delivered to you ship to you wherever you are that's what i'm working on right now and yeah so um very soon that should be yeah that should ready be, that should be ready and then like we should start purchasing like, like, from it yes i hope they are affordable though. oh they are affordable i have the human hair like what i'm wearing i have the normal regular synthetic mm. one so it, it's, it's very affordable that's 30 dollars that's even 25 dollars and then there's the 25 dollars yeah and then there's the 200 there's the 500 dollars it depends you just wow. have to those who can with, afford the 200 and 500 dollars and also can yeah. pay the 20 30 40 dollars so that's okay on, yeah that's very Ella Mesa, thank you very much for honoring my invitation to be on Vibes in Five. Oh man, I really enjoy you. I mean, you are Thank open, you. very, very, very open when it comes to conversations. Anyway, and so this is Ghana's actress, but she's left us. She's now in Hollywood and doing America, traveling all over the place. She's very vocal, so you should know. My name Arnold Mensa Lavanyo. You can always call me. Oh, you me. <laughs> and we are sponsored by Plenu Business.